And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee Hama Bruce. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter. It certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man. And even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counter attacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! My friend in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, riding out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, the Great. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. We are underway. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Although well, you know about his kicks, they are on point this evening. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early, they will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. Effective strike there by Lee. That's oh, a hard that's a hook. Big hook to the chin. Oh, beautiful hook. And he connects there. There he swung with a haymaker. 
beautiful right leg kick there. Really missed with that right hand. He landed that punch flush. Good defense there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, double jab. Just out of range with that right hook. Watch the shot here, Joe. Looking for the left hook. Nice defense there, huge block. Right hand upstairs. And he's looking for that left. Look at that oh. nasty jab. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Just missed with the straight left hand. What a nice jab to the head by Lee. How about that chin? Both men landing in that exchange. Just over two minutes to go. And he landed the right hand there. Whoa! This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Attempts a big look oh. to the head, but misses. Wow! to block the strike coming back. That one hurt. Oh, he landed the right hand. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Once again, establishing the jab here. Lee's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. And just misses with that big right hand. Huge block there. Just misses with the jab there. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Strong defense here as the hooks to the head is blocked. Each of that's a nice right hand. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. 15 seconds to go. These guys are swinging. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's punch into that clinch this way. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working great. And there's a nice head kick that lands. And here's another head kick. And here's one more perfectly placed head kick. Some real clean striking on display in that round. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Here we go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's second go. round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. 
Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Punches blocked. Authority. Oh, good uppercut there. Well, I know he's trying to set up his own offense, but again, he leans right into the uppercut, and that one appeared to land pretty flush, Joe. Let's see if he can circle out and prevent any further damage here in this round. Spinning back fist. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, and he connects there. And oh, he's like a good style a little bit. This could be it. Body kick, look at that. Oh, big left. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, big left. Hard uppercut to the head. He's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Jab. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. He che he's checking every single one of those. Just over three minutes to go. <laughs> Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Unable to connect with the right hand. Now. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Connects with the punch there. How about that shin? Yeah, looks like it. Under two minutes now in round two. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. That one hurt. Oh, tags him with that uppercut, Joe. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Just misses with the right hook. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. He's got the clinch. That knee might have landed there. Boy, tie block. Oh, knees and bunches here as he continues to dole out the punishment tonight. That knee might have landed there. Oh, now he's got the tight clinch, Joe. He completes the takedown. He transitions to full mount. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, we got an arm bar here. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. He's got that arm bar locked in. He might get a finish here. There's more and more pressure on the arm. He could be tapping any second. Oh and there my it is. God. The round was about to end, sunk in the submission, and got the victory.
Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was going to stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, Bruce the Dragon! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.